Hi again, this is Mike, the Philosopher Engineer. We're ready to start another week here in May. We're still in May 2020. Um, the theme we have for this month is prepare for growth. We've got May flowers, prepare for growth. It's a beautiful time of year. Uh, we're beginning a new week and we have a different theme for each week. Um, in our theme for the month, we have prepare for growth. Obviously, uh, you know, we've gone through this crisis. Some companies are starting to get back to work or at least thinking about what are those next steps. Um, and so I, I do think it's a good time to think about the proactive steps uh, to prepare for growth. Um, and what we talked about is kind of in what framework, how do we operate when we prepare for growth? And we had four weekly themes. We started with having purpose and not only having a purpose for our work and a purpose for the company, but having a shared purpose or a common purpose. We really want to have alignment. And that, that need to have purpose goes all the way down into our daily work and our activities and everything else. Uh, and then we have a process to do all, all of our work. Uh, obviously, we're focused on product development, but this can apply to other types of work as well. So we have a, a process to understanding things. We collect data, uh, we uh, gather information, uh, we process and analyze that information, and then we make decisions. And we make decisions, and then we take action. Uh, and that action, we learn more, and then we have a feedback process with that action. Uh, in the case of product development, we might, our action might be to design something, to prototype something, to test something, to analyze something. So we take all that action, but we work as a team. We all come together in this collaborative process. And we decide what is our goal, what is our purpose, and then we go off uh, and take action. And what happens with a good process is that action has um, a structure to it. It has a strategy. There's a logic to that action. And in our case, we talk about process and we're understanding things. We identify risk, we identify areas where we don't have maybe enough design margin. We look at analysis and so there's a, a ranking or prioritization that's built into that process. So when we go to take action, uh, we're not just sort of bouncing off the walls. We have a plan. We go, go after that plan, we gather that data, we take that action, and then we bring that back to the team and go through that feedback. And obviously we talked before about uh, the scrum teams or agile teams. And so that has a cadence where you're in, in regular communication, sharing this information and adapting and adjusting as a team to that. And that's a, a wonderful process. Anyways, I hope you have a great week. We'll talk about action a little bit this week and how that, um, how that works in relation to the, the process that we're talking about, which is more of a proactive process where we're, we're understanding knowledge, we're gaining it, we're, we're breaking things down, we're understanding failure modes, and then we're taking action from that. And it really accelerates the process that turns out, you know, we talked about this before, uh, in a knowledge-driven process, we want to do more of the work. I had this um, the other day, earlier in the development phase, so in the concept phase, the more we, we uh, learn, the more we um, uh, understand things and solve problems early in the schedule costs less and accelerates all the um, all the rest of the project. And the later we um, discover things that aren't really done the way they should be done, because we're not being proactive, we have to be more reactive. We uh, get surprises and we get delays and it's not a happy situation and it costs a lot more. So everything we're talking about here and, and our purpose and process is to get set up early so we can go faster. It's all about a need for speed. How do we go faster? And it, as it turns out, the method to go faster is also uh, the process to have more confidence in the quality of, of your work. They go together. So anyways, have a wonderful week. We'll talk again soon. Thank you.